Hypersonic missiles move at many times the speed of sound and six times faster than current missiles. Armed with nuclear weapons, they could annihilate entire cities and even countries within minutes. And we cannot let this happen. The best way to ensure that such a conflict never happens is to be prepared with unmatched technology and unrivaled strength. To this end, when I'm Commander-in-Chief, once again, I will work with Congress and our great military leaders to build a state-of-the-art next-generation missile defense shield. Just as Israel is now protected by the Iron Dome, a dream once thought impossible, America must have an impenetrable dome to protect our people. We worked with Israel to develop that dome. They relied on us. Not just them, they relied on us. We have technology that's unsurpassed. I will build the shield to defend America from missile attack. We will have a peace through strength. Oh, that's very interesting. The defense shield that he's talking about already exists. The United States, on behalf of Israel and possibly world security, have built a curtain a shield between Iran and Israel. Currently, the two secret sites for this impenetrable shield are in Iraq and in Jordan. Nothing gets through. Iran recently tested it by sending hundreds of non-lethal drones as distractions for the processing power of the shield and a few lethal cruise missiles that would reach all the way into Israel. It was 100% successful. All these news pictures that you were fed by American and Israeli media were lying. Israel's Iron Dome was never used. Nothing got through through. In my hum humble opinion, it was very, very orchestrated and a bit of a sham. Those pictures of Iranian cruise missiles in deserts of Israel, they weren't real. Nothing got through the American defense shield that already exists. Well, what's really going on in this Trump announcement? Well, it's STI or Star Wars all over again. We all thought that Ronald Reagan initiated a new program that he would design and build as a defense shield for America. It was never a Ronald Reagan policy. Ronald Reagan was a hawk. Ronald Reagan called the Soviet Union the evil empire. SDI or Star Wars was actually a Jimmy Carter program that Reagan inherited and pretended it was his. It never was. Now, it didn't fully operate, but a lot of money was spent on it here in Europe, coming up with amazing new technology of physics that can make a defense shield. And that's what we're seeing used again today. The so-called new idea of the shield goes right back to Nikola Tesla and the death ray. Now, I'm not saying it was the death ray, but you need to understand that Tesla was the inspiration for a defensive shield around a country. And some of his ideas in physics were actually made. The big miscomprehension about Nikola Tesla's death ray is that people assume it was a particle accelerator. People assume that it shot electronic bullets into the sky and shoot down things. Nikola Tesla never called it the death ray. He called it tele force because he proposed that it would be a wall, a curtain around a country that wouldn't let anything go past it. A better way of understanding Nikola Tesla's death ray is to think about it as a denial system, a curtain that nothing can get through around a country. The idea behind Tesla's death ray was probably to knock things out. It was a non-nuclear EMP denial device. An NNEMP is something that I've been researching for years. A lot of that technology came out of Bordsey, Martlesham, and even the Rendlesham Forest incident. Non-nuclear EMP was experimented at a place called Cobra Mist. When Cobra Mist was closed in a deal between the Soviet Union and the West, it went on to become miniaturized and containerized, and a production facility was set up in Suffolk at Adastral Park, Martlesham Heath, 
run by SRI to produce hundreds of these containerized NNEMP devices to protect Western Europe against a Soviet ground invasion. That technology was built in Britain. <laughs> so a quick history lesson that involves Robert Watson Watt, Rendlesham Forest, Radar, and Donald Trump. You think I'm joking, I'm not. Links in the description to films that I've already made about Nikola Tesla, about Rendlesham Forest, about Cobra Mist, and you'll begin to understand what Donald Trump is talking about today already exists. United States, United Kingdom, NATO, Israel, we already have this physics defense shield. It has already been deployed in Iraq and in Jordan. And it makes a lot of sense that you could deploy it around the borders of the United States. Hypersonic missiles are a nightmare. You need unconventional defense systems to shoot them down. They're very hard to track and use conventional air-to-air -air or surface-to-air missiles to actually shoot down because of their speed. But imagine an impenetrable curtain around your border. It already exists. There's a facility in Jordan, there's one in Iraq, to protect Israel against missiles fired from Iran. It was a good test platform. We've seen it working. What you're hearing on the TV about Israel's Iron Dome is purely an old-fashioned last defense system. The real defense for Israel is being paid for by the United States to test this new physics impenetrable shield that was partly developed in the United Kingdom and is already in existence. The truth is out there. <laughs>